Hello and welcome to The Mighty Meeple. I'm your host, Eric Schwartz. In today's video, we're doing another unboxing. And this time we're opening up this massive copy of Valley of the Dead King, the first installment of the Hexplorer series. This is designed by Jonathan Martiucci and published under his own label, Martiucci Designs. Now we're just doing a fast unboxing just to get a quick glimpse of what's inside. If you want something more detailed and a closer look at the contents, click this gray bar up here and it'll take you to my detailed unboxing video. Otherwise, there's a lot to go through, so let's just go to the table and jump inside. Okay, so as you can see here, we got uh, some pretty nice artwork on the front, um, some art, more artwork on the back with a little bit of look at the um, contents, what you would get. But this is, uh, just so you know, this is a Kickstarter version. Um, I supported this on Kickstarter, and I also got the um, investor level. So there's a few extra things in here, and I'll point out what those are. All right, to start off with, we have the uh, rule book. Um, starting off in the front, you have the table of contents. All the way to the back, page 63, is the index, which is an important thing to have in a book this size. Like I said, 63 pages. But um, it's, it's filled out, uh, one with artwork, but it's very, looking through this it is very, um, very well organized. It's not like super overloaded with information, but it, it is uh, succinct, it is clear, um, it is in order. Uh, so it is nice little, nice little rule book that they have here. I'm gonna keep this right here just so I can uh, reference it for any, anything that's included. Next up, we have this piece of artwork. Um, this is a pr um, uh, this is advertisement for the next game in the series, which is currently in play playtesting stages and a little bit in development. Um, but this is the Forest of Adrimon, and um, on the other side is a thank you to all the people who helped uh, make this game a reality. Like I said, this is a kickstarted game, so as a thank you to all of them, that's included in the box. Next we have Akalon's Guide to the Valley. This um, gives you the basic startup for, for starting, but also a lot of uh, possible ways that you can put the game board together. So the, the, um, the creators of this game uh, said there's not just one way you can put this together however you want. These are some of their favorite ways that they've done it so far. So there's that. Next up, we have all the punch-out boards, and these have things like the, you have the, um, just the different valley pieces. Um, this is a game board. Punch-out, quite simple. We have, looks like six of those boards. So two, three, four, and five, six. These are um, the circumstance uh, board, and um, these basically flank Flank the, the valley and is where you put all the cars, keep things in order. Next up, we have some uh, extra baggies for parts as you um, dive into it. So the little small pieces, little chits and stuff. We have um, dry erase markers, which I already had one out. Took a look at the board. Um, I'll show you that. There's seven of them because this accommodates up to seven players, but dry erase with, uh, with a felt tip for erasing. We got dye. All right, we get um, seven of each of these. All right, so seven of these, we got uh, D10s. Uh, sorry for the wobble there. So we got uh, green, blue, yellow. Um, D10s where the um, one is replaced with these, uh, this explore it symbol. And you also get uh, this D6. Um, so one through six, but instead of the six is the explore symbol as well. Uh, retail game, you get six of each of these colors and then one D six in the Kickstarter version, in the investor version, um, you get six more of these D six. So game tray. Um, all right, so let's look at the, uh, so these are the races, all right? And you have a whole variety of races. And they give you just some of the starting vitals and abilities, um, the food ratings, you know, a little bit of description of who they are. Um, but there is a whole ton of these to go through and to pick from, all right? 
There are 26 um, in the base retail version. Um, all on the back, all these races are going to be on the same back. That way you can choose them at random if you want, um, or you can go through and pick the ones that you want to play with. Now, as far as the Kickstarter version, you have, uh, I believe, six more um, exclusive. So you have these, these six exclusive ones. All right. And if you are an investor level, you also get the Young Gold Dragon. It has a little bit of special border around it, um, and it is rare. I believe you can also find this as a promo card if you go to the right, um, right conventions. So, um, including this and including the six, um, these six uh, base, uh, the exclusive races, there are 31 races available at this time. All right. Let's go to these boards. All right, so here we have just a, a quick reference guide to leave on the table. So as you're as you're learning the game, you know you can just uh, be able to look at this rather than keep on going back to the um, back to the rule book and, and digging through and trying to find it. Uh, it's all in order, basically a game turn. So you start with movement, skill, circumstance, event, and then the dead king movement, and it gives an explanation for each of those. Um, as you're moving around the the board, you could encounter different things, including the market, all right, um, and Bezel Quirk's Black Market, all right. And so these are little little better items. Of course, they cost more, but they are better items. Now you have uh, two uh, market boards in case you have people playing on on two sides of the table. Um, they can both be looking at the same time. On one side of the other market board is the cities, so the different cities and things that you can get there, and what to do if you uh, have a fallen city and you want to free it. You could also encounter ruins, and this is what you could find at the ruins if you explore. This is what could happen at a shrine if you go to a shrine, the things that you can buy there. Here we have a battle mat. So you're going to use a battle mat when you are battling enemies, and there's um, a little bit on the back there. Uh, conditions that may uh, stay with you after a battle and what they are. That way you're not going back into the rule book. Um, but you will transfer the health and energy of the person you're battling to here. And this is where you track the battle with. Speaking of battles, some people that you could um, battle against. We have, um, these are some of the captains. So there are five cards and they're all double-sided. Um, which also includes the Dead King as the highest one. And finally, we have the, the roll cards. These will be combined with the races, race cards. And there is just a huge stack of these. You, know, you have the Sorcerer, the Rabble Rouser, you know, the Wilder, um, the Cartographer, the Priest, the Scoundrel, the Brute, the Minstrel, the Divine One, just to name a few. And I believe there are uh, 24 of these in total. On the back, you have artwork that's individual to each role. Um, they picked a random race to go with the role of the artwork and, and just basically created some neat, unique artwork for each role. Um, all of these, all those boards that I just showed you, um, nice thick board. Um, they're good and sturdy. And all these boards have a nice finish that you use these dry erase markers for um, to set up the game and to do the battles as well and keep progress as you go along. Um, keep track of what's in your backpack, how much gold you have, your vitals, etc. You know, your abilities, your skills as you upgrade them. And of course, like I said, there's this felt tip for erasing and it erases. Uh, very well, actually. So, um, they took some time with a lot of the prototypes, making sure they had um, good stuff there. All right, and we have the Dead King deck. I'm not exactly sure how it's used in the game, but the Dead King on the back, and just some different things that he could do, different, um, 
different uh, abilities that he'll do throughout the game. These two here are special Kickstarter um, cards that uh, you get um, if you if you get a Kickstarter version. If you notice there's a little bit, it's got the shiny border, um, and that's how you tell them tell them apart from the rest of the deck. You have the, well, what is this? It's the Circumstance deck. All right, nice thick deck. Um, all of these, I've looked through these already. Every single one of these is different. All right, huge deck as well. And not only that, though, we have a living game. So if you go to this website or scan that QR code, um, focus there on that. There will be uh, each month new circumstances that you can um, download, print out, and add to your game if you want. So that's pretty cool. You have the quest deck. So these are different quests that you will um, reach throughout the game. And one thing you'll notice on here, if you notice up here in the corner, it actually gives you a grid location. So there is there is actually on the in the game for every board every hex on every board there is a different um, quest that you can encounter. So it may be explore, it may be um, uh, some sort of invasion that you're stopping. You know, it could be a navigate, uh, it could be a survival uh, quest, it could be an aid, um, a bounty. You know, a duel. Um, a King's Lair, so something, you know, some sort of, uh, you know, something that you're encountering, you know, a tomb, uh, a quest. So all of these, every single hex on the board has something unique that you will encounter. So there's a lot, a lot, a lot that can happen in this game. A lot of replayability, so no game is going to ever be the same. Well, you know, I guess it could be the same, but... It's going to be a long time before you ever have the same same sort of game. In this here, sorry, I didn't show you this. This is the um, this is the power up deck. All right, and these are different. I guess at the end of the battle uh, or encounters that you have as you're traveling, exploring the board, just different um, different power ups that you could have. So food, health, energy, um, skills, all these things can be powered up. All right, and then last but not least, well, almost last but not least, we have these two uh, miniatures to represent the Dead King and the Adventurers. And so as the Dead King comes on the board, you'll place this to represent where he is on the map. This um, represents the Adventurers and where you are and where you're traveling. You all travel as, as a group so you only have one miniature. Right. And last off, we have a nice, very nice insert. Um, I may give you a quick shot at the end to see uh, how everything packs into here because it seems like it's very well designed. And I'll show you that at the end. Okay, it's not often that you get a reboxing video, but this, uh, this insert I think was so well designed that I wanted to show this to you. To start off... Just so you know, all these punch out boards, I took all but one and put it underneath the bottom insert. And so that's that way it brought it up nice and even to the top there. And that's what's inside a box of Explorer, the Valley of the Dead King. Now, if you have any questions about this game, leave them down in the comment section below. and I'll do my best to answer them as quickly as possible. 
If you'd like to get this game for yourself, check down in the description and I'll leave a link where you can purchase it. If you enjoyed this video, give it a good old thumbs up. And if you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider subscribing. It'll let you know anytime I upload a new unboxing, review, playthrough, just anything about board games, really. And if you don't, that's okay, but thank you anyway for joining me today. And until next time, game on, my friend.